In this video, we're going to be knocking up multiple bags at the same time. You will need multiple bags for inoculation, a can of Lysol, a face mask, a 60cc lure lock syringe, a 16 gauge needle tip, a jar of liquid culture, a set of gloves, and optionally, you may use Purell to reduce contamination rates. We're gonna start by breaking up any solid chunks in the substrate and allowing it to stand so air enters the bag. This will make mixing much easier in the next step. The first step is to spray the inoculation port with Lysol. Allow them to stand for 10 seconds while they marinate in Lysol. Add a glob of Purell to the inoculation port on the jar. To add a glob of Purell to the inoculation port on the bag, you must rearrange the port so that it's prone that way the glob won't run off with gravity. Attach the needle tip to the syringe body. Next, swirl the liquid around to suspend the particles of mycelium in the liquid. Make sure you don't allow the syringe to flop around or you'll tear a hole in the inoculation port, allowing contamination in. Note I'm holding the syringe body using air quote fingers. Tip the jar on its side so the needle tip is below the surface of the liquid and the filter is above it. Now pull the plunger back on the syringe to fill the syringe with liquid. Watch for bubbles coming through the inoculation port and rising in the liquid. You don't want these as the introduction of filthy outside air into your system. There may be bubbles on the surface of the liquid from shaking it around. Those are fine. Now it's time to inject the bags with liquid culture. Spray the needle tip and stick the needle tip through the middle of the inoculation port, being careful not to give the bag an exit wound. Now you're gonna spray the liquid culture all around the bag, pull the needle out, spray it with Lysol, and stick it back in the jar again. Now repeat the process on the rest of the bags. It will work with as little as three milliliters of liquid culture, but we recommend a minimum of 20 and a maximum of 60. Now mix them to disperse the mycelium throughout the bag. When you're done, place them in a warm, dark place to colonize. On the right is the kind of mycelium you'd like to see growing in the bag from a mushroom species. On the left is a fungal mold spore from a contaminating species. If you see this, the bag should be thrown out immediately with special care taken not to breathe in any of this mold or its spores, as doing so could be hazardous to your health. Once the contents of the bag are completely covered with fuzzy white stuff, known as mycelium, it is said to be fully colonized. Make a one inch cut in the corner of the bag. Remember to never breach the bag until the complete colonization has been achieved. It can now be placed in a room with ambient light conditions for fruiting.